back in 2004, we were in first year of school, me and Katie started going out. I was down in the centre, waiting for my new girlfriend to go down, gave me my first kiss, but she stood me up. <laughs> and to rub salt into the wind, she sent her big cousin up, not that long after, to break up with me. <laughs> because I was too short. <laughs> It's safe to say our journey got off to a rocky start. John Lennon once said, A dream you dream alone is only a dream. A dream you dream together. Now that is reality. A new reality starts now. speech here that I prepared uh, when Katie and Shane went to San Francisco. <laughs> Co cobwebs. Or... You're all very welcome here to Katie and Shane's big day and we'd be, we have been waiting for this for we can't say 15 years, they've worked together 15 years but nine anyway. <laughs> So, uh, Katie, Katie was a fantastic daughter, and I'm very proud to stand here today as her father. But there aren't words enough to explain this emotion I feel inside. Until the day that I finally... Uh, I want to welcome Shane and her family. Shane is as cool as a cucumber. I think if the, if the house was on fire, Shane would come down and put on toast or something. And for the big brother, the groom, as we call him in our house, sicky ass. But anyway, we'll, we'll not get into all that air, but anyway, as I said, I'm very proud to be standing here beside him, be my best man, but... Uh, he didn't have much of a choice in me. Look at these <laughs> fucking goobers here beside me. But you know, right, thanks, thanks for you for someone making look up to. Uh, since we were young, as kids, now even as adults, still always look up to you. I look forward to seeing what the future holds between you and Katie. <laughs> Well, to cut a 20 year story short, I got taller. <laughs> uh, and, now, and now I get to marry the girl that got away. <laughs> and I couldn't be happier. Today we celebrate with Katie and Shane their decision to live their lives together as husband and wife. 
You have all witnessed them become friends and watched their relationship grow from a mutual, respectful friendship into a loving and committed partnership to the point where they commit in marriage to each other here today. I put it to Katie, I says, Katie, tell me, what do you really think of this man? And, uh, and I said, you know, send that to me on the QT. She said, Shane is a lucky man. <laughs> and not just because he gets to marry me, he is lucky in many ways. He is lucky to have a close-knit family, with his two brothers being two of his best friends, and a great relationship with his mum and dad. And those strong relationships came down to how lucky he is in his character. He is loyal, genuine and kind, and can be loving when he wants to be. <laughs> he always forgives and forgets, never holding a grudge. He is so unapologetically true to himself. Feels like I'm standing on a timeless dream Light mist and play them Katie is one of the most caring people I have ever met. Every time she makes a decision, she will always think of me first. Katie is a die-hard romantic. <laughs> which is good because she makes up for how unromantic I am. I can guarantee her version of this part of the ceremony will be twice as long and a lot sweeter. She plans surprises and does little things that make me feel loved at all times. And I am so grateful for it. I am very lucky to have Katie as my wife and I can't wait to see what the future holds for both of us. Katie, with this ring, I wed thee. Where is the sign of my love? Shane, with this ring, I wed thee. Wear it as a sign of my love. Do you, Shane, hereby state that you have read and understood the list of civil impediments to marriage? And do you solemnly declare that you believe there is no impediment of kindred or affinity or other lawful hindrance to your proposed marriage with Katie? I do. Do you, Katie, hereby state that you have read and understood the list of civil impediments to marriage? And do you solemnly declare that you believe there is no impediment of kindred or affinity or other lawful hindrance to your proposed marriage with Shane? I do. Your wedding day is one that seems to fly. It's a day filled with emotion friends, rings and dances. Many people remember how fleeting their own wedding day was. So if you take a few seconds to look into each other's eyes, we locked on, we are. Think about the happiness that you are feeling in this place, in this moment. Really let that feeling register in your heart and your mind. We all know that our visions of the future are not identical, but always complementary. I now have the great pleasure in presenting to you Shane and Katie as husband and wife. Shane, you may kiss your bride. Shane and Katie as the new Mr. and Mrs. Neely.
On behalf of myself and my new wife, I'd like to welcome you all to the Beach Hill House. I want to thank everyone else for coming out here today. It really means a lot for me and Kitty to see all these people come, especially the people who travel a lot from Australia or the US to be here today. We are so delighted to have them back from Australia. So it's been a long five and a half, six years. We've been waiting hard on the day. And um, she's a beautiful girl. They're a beautiful couple. And we're so pleased and uh, delighted uh, to be here today. Be upstanding. Raise your glasses for the bride and groom. Cheers. Yeah. 